Hey guys, guess where I am? If you guessed back in Victoria, you're absolutely right. So what exactly happened? Well, I left. I went back to Calgary, had some fun, had a time, realized I had much more of a time when I was living in Victoria. Oh yeah, and all my best friends live here too. And it's also way closer to my upcoming exchange. Where am I going? Haida Gwaii, known colonially as the Queen Charlotte Islands. I like to drop that in there because I'm a political science smartass. Basically, I'm taking five courses through UBC and learning all about how we manage our resources, how we manage the economy of our resources, and how we handle our indigenous relations, which isn't always that good. Oh, I couldn't help but come back in the beautiful yellow box once more. Francois and I are now happily living in this ridiculous little shed. Um, we haven't killed each other yet. Far from it, actually. It's uh, pretty good in here. At any given time, we share this space with about 20 orb weavers that hang out in the corners and my tarantula. That's the last reason that I came back to Victoria, though. Serious blending between my Star Trek philosophy and living on this island has pretty much turned me into the biggest hippie ever. Man, I'm actually surprised how often I will go out in an outfit like this. Or this exact outfit. Can't go wrong with the Lennons, dude. What's really cool is that now I'm gonna guaranteedly graduate in June of next year. I will have a degree in political science. What that means, I don't know. People ask me all the time if I still want to go into politics. The reason I only ever wanted to go into politics was because I thought I could make a difference there. But it's increasingly apparent to me that the only place I'm gonna make change is by going out and just starting something. Um, and our political system is not the place to do that, I don't think. We're very limited in our power and there's all these rules and these mores to abide by. Do stuff at the grassroots level. Throw some of your own food. That helps. Oh yeah. Yeah, that's right. Look at that. Grew that my whole self. Didn't even think it was possible to grow peppers. Didn't honestly even know what a pepper plant looked like. Boom. So were any of you smart enough to invest in Bitcoin? I put a little bit of money in it while it was already worth something and got a return and it's super cool and it's only going up, which is amazing. So I'm sure people who have put a couple grand into Bitcoin back in the day are very, very pleased with themselves now. I think it was a guy in Scotland who found out that Bitcoin he'd mined years ago was suddenly worth like $400,000 or something. Who is outside my house? Oh, it's a Max. I'm like, who's throwing all this shit? <laughs> Inexplicably, my roommate is outside right now throwing furniture. Throwing furniture around the back lawn. I don't know. Main house problems. I'm out here in the shed where I don't have to worry about it. So I got a tripod for my camera. A couple of you guys have requested me to do some of the videos where I take some of my Instagram photos. I have this killer beach that I really love and go to all the time. So maybe that's a possibility if it's not raining. Other than that, my studio lacks in Star Trek. It, it really does. I've started living a bit more minimalistic a lifestyle, so I didn't bring a whole lot of stuff back here. Um, obviously I brought this, doubles as my camera case, which is really awesome. Um, and a couple of my books and more important things, but none of the huge posters or anything. So guys, you're just gonna have to deal. You guys remember my first video from years ago where I tried to juggle? As it turns out, I'm still not very good at it. So I was thinking, like, maybe while I continue working a menial job and not really having a whole bunch of excitement happen in my life, we could just turn this into, like, a Star Trek storytime channel. Today, we're reading Star Trek vault like a star trek reading rainbow even don't sue me for saying reading rainbow as somewhat awesome as that would be i don't think it's gonna work but i want to find more inspiration okay here it is my goal before now and the end of december which is when i leave for my exchange is to get the most killer video up on youtube my phone agrees with me so it's got to be awesome it's got to be original it's got to be something totally unique and i want to get a lot of views and really reward you guys for being amazing subscribers for the three nearly four years that I've been doing this. Because I wouldn't be able to do any of the cool stuff I've done if it hadn't been for you. All right, I'm gonna make a plea to the crowds this time. Seriously, what kind of stuff would you like to see? I only have a couple rules for this. Please don't be dirty. Although now that YouTube accounts are linked to Google accounts, YouTube comments have gotten so much better for everyone. Love it. As much as people love internet anonymity, I think it also turns you into a giant asshole. So here and there, at least on YouTube, I like to see that people are getting called out on it. No, I'm not gonna stop moving around as much as I do, because I'm totally ADD and love to move around, and that just happens. And two, don't be dirty. I mentioned that already. Google accounts, don't do it. It's crazy. I made a duck yesterday. It's not really relevant, but it was delicious. Okay, I do have a couple things in mind, so I'm gonna work out a couple plans, get some stuff built, go back to my pages, review some of my old videos, come up with something super stellar, genius, brilliant, and awesome. And then we're gonna make an awesome video! That is possibly more random than this one, because I'm capable of these kinds of things. Alright guys, so as always, live long and prosper, support the Janeway coffee movement as often as you can, and have an absolutely excellent and totally stellar rest of your week. Live long and prosper, man!